Have you ever wondered how brushless DC motor works? Specifically, those with permanent magnets. Why do we need sensors in motors? Specifically, all sensors in motors? Concept of microcontroller and drivers in motors? In this video I will brief all of them. Brushless DC motors made of permanent magnets work similar to the brush DC motors made of permanent magnet. But the main difference is that with brushless DC permanent magnet motors, the permanent magnet is in the rotary part. As opposed to the brushed one which permanent magnet in the stator. You can check our previous video for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. In brushless DC motor, the stator part contains coils for magnetic induction. Here the magnetism in the stator are induced one at a time. For example if we create a north pole simultaneously, one at a time. It will cause the rotor containing magnet to rotate. But how can we achieve such simultaneous induction with DC power source? Here the concept of controller and driver enters. Motor drives are used to drive motors and control their speed. As well as the direction of rotation. Motor driver ICs are basic current amplifiers that are responsible for delivering the required power to the motor. Motor drive circuits and systems integrates multiple components into a single package or assembly. And the microcontroller portion triggers when the driver circuit begins operating. And may process data received from the driver circuit. Major types of drives commonly used include H-bridge, transistor-based DC motor driver, using L293D, using ULN2003, and the rest. But how can the drive know the response of the motor? When the motor needs to rotate, this is through the concept of sensors, precisely hall sensors. Hall sensors or rotary encoders are commonly used to sense the position of the rotor and are positioned between the stator. The rotor magnet's positions is being noticed by the sensors. Feedback from the sensor helps to determine when the switch is necessary. Hall sensors are made up of either a metal or a semiconductor material. When we used a P-type semiconductor and a magnet is brought to the surface of the material, which had a current passing through it, the holes and electrons are rearranged as shown. Hence bulb connected on the other circuit lights. When the magnet is moved away, the bulb goes off. Hence this sensor can sense incoming and outgoing magnetic fields. Hence can switch a circuit connected to it. With these sensors placed in between the stator windings, current is being switched accordingly for precise motion. Another thing to note is that, these kind of motors whose rotor is inside the stator is called in runner. While those motor whose rotor is placed outside the stator is called outrunner. Outrunner typically produce higher torque compared to in runner motors of similar size. Making them suitable for applications requiring high torque output. Brushless DC motors come with several advantages such as, absence of mechanical commutators to avoid wear. High efficiency. High speed of operation in loaded and unloaded conditions. Among others. Check our next videos for more types of motors. Remember you can get these 3D models in CG Trader, link in the description. I hope you found this video informative, and if you did kindly subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one.